Mr. Jolly, not just because you're here with us in New York, we're going to begin with you. What must it be like <laughs> to be one of your old colleagues, an elected representative in the House sure. or Senate with the R after your name? It is remarkable, Brian, tonight how many Republicans support a special counsel once the decision has been made. And I think we've watched that. Listen, view this through the short lens. The short lens, this is actually win-win. Democrats get the investigation that they think is right for the country. Republicans have an opportunity to put the investigation over here in this lane and then say, okay, now we get to get back to legislating. But in the long lens, Donald Trump's done. He's done. There's no question about that. He's done. Look at what happened in the first 100 days. Director Comey, one of the top law enforcement officers in the country, makes memos of every interaction he had with the President of the United States. Tonight, Rosenstein comes out in the brief two or three weeks he has to make an impact and says, we need a special counsel. That is historic in terms of 100 days of a new president. So if this doesn't end with the ejection of a sitting president, when you say he's done, you mean effectively the business of the presidency. So the legislative agenda, they have an opportunity if they can, if they can right the ship on this, right? But if not, we're looking at 18 months before Democrats likely will take control of the House. And then you have a sitting president who last we saw was in 1992 when George Bush, 41, was challenged by Pat Buchanan. If Trump decides to run for re-election, I think you see a primary. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.